Hello again, welcome to Crock and Farm FS22. I'm on my chicken farm here. I relocated a couple things, of course. Of course I did. I didn't like just the one chicken coop. So I put down like five more. Here's the original. A little shabby chicken area. And here's my new ones and uh, of course I had some feed delivered up in here couldn't go without that got another little bunker made and I believe I'm going to be using the tilly handler today I'm going to top off the chickens. I don't know if they got any eggs. I hope they got eggs going on. Yeah, they got enough for us to make a run around. Cool. Alright. Well, let me bring in the chicken carts. And then we'll get started. And if you're wondering, yes, I made a path. It was trapping me. We'll just park it over here. I won't have to park it inside. We'll be using it. And let me get into the mighty chicken handler. Telehander, chicken handler. Never mind. It was fun. I don't know how much feed they're going to need. We're going to... Let's go try this bunker out. I haven't tried them out since I put, they got put in. So let's, let's go see. Let's go see if I did it right. Now, can you put this bucket down, right? Oh, there we go. Easy to bucket do. All right. How's this work? There we go. 2,600 liters. Ah, I got to find the one that has bigger, bigger liters. I haven't found it yet. Got to look around. There's got to be one. I thought I had the one with the 5,000. Maybe I do. I didn't go get it. Oh, my goodness. Ah, I may not need it. And then again, I'm like, uh, cool. and, well, let's just put a couple in there. We got eggs spawning already, so we're good. I just got it too. It's a new bucket. I'm not going all the way back over there. That's one thing about the map. See, I told you before, am I, uh, some of my videos is that they put stuff just too far away from the the tool shop. I don't mind some things being what I understand, but all right, this wasn't too bad. This action can't be performed. All right. Anyway, we ignore those. feed this rinky one I call it the rinky one because it's the end game one it's a rinky it's not nice at all I mean god just throw some chicken somewhere out in the middle nowhere here you go alright looks like they got some good eggs going on though What's nice is, I think, let me see, I know in 19 I did this. Oh, I guess you can do it here too. <laughs> okay. Cool.
Man, I am really rusty. You can tell I've been using trailers. here. See I had to put it in here funny because uh, I was using a tipper and of course ceiling's too low. The other one over there not too bad. Uh, that little barn area there it, it didn't like my tipper. Couple more, couple more top offs. Oops. My side's bad. It's getting worse. There you go. Scrape it. I like the tele handler. It's pretty nice. Not too bad to use. I mean, if you use it, I'm rusty. I haven't used it in a couple months. Literally a couple months. I like my trailers and trucks. Alright, one more. Top off one more. Oh yeah, I'm top off one more. Cause I'm getting ready to steal the rigs. That's when they produce. When you feed them. This is a new building. I don't remember what was here. I tore something out. Another shed. Probably just like it. Repositioned the house on the other side of the farm. Put the sheds in. Chicken coops. Everything. Grass it up. Maybe I'll show you when I do it next time. Maybe that'll be a project. This is not do it off camera, but do it right on camera. Make all the mistakes right there on film. All right, that's good for my telly handler right now. Let's go. Let's go get the crate dollar. Let's see how many eggs we get. Hopefully, we get a lot. If the sale point's not too far, I'll drive over there. But if it is, I'm gonna put one down chicken farm this big you need something close you don't need to be driving all the way across the map that's ridiculous not for eggs all right let's go drive over here and find out what we got going on guess we'll find out By golly, it loads up. Yeah, it's loading up pretty good for a shanky little chicken pen. Except for that last one. Come on, you. I'm going to mess around with y'all. Half. Oh, I don't fill this up. I may have to put one down because if we have to go anywhere, it's too far. Or I might have to start bringing a bigger trailer. Maybe a bigger trailer. <gasps> there they are. Don't you? Don't do it. Oh, it did it. I came in there. I came, I didn't come in there. I came in this far side.
Well, while that's figuring out what to do, we'll save. Let's look at this. That's a down. You had. They made you download this. They wanted you to download that, so I parked it right there. I don't like it. I don't know why they made me download it. Anyway, selling point. I see. I got a. I can put a sell all in there. We don't want to. What's this right here? V market? Yeah, we don't do V. We probably will. But. Farmer's market. I'm trying to see if in the long run it's worth keeping around. Oh yeah, it does sell a couple little things there. I don't want something so big though. That's a farmer's market. Looks pretty slick. Farmer's market. Another farmer's market. Great projection. It says farmer's market, but oh, that's out of the grape producers uh, thing. That was my last video. And we got a wholesale market. Kind of like the wholesale market vibe. Does it do eggs? It says milk, wool, uh, olives, furniture, butter, and cheese, butter, guys, cake, honey. Oh, honey sales. All right. Oil, stones, cane, cotton, corn, sunflower, pig. Oh, eggs. There we are. That's what I was looking for. Now, let's go get lost on the highway here. And I... I didn't buy no property, so I bet I don't own anything I can put this on. I think I can sell stuff here, too. Got stuff to sell. So, is it going to be flush with the ground, or is it going to be stupid? No, it's going to have too much stuff around. Um, you know what? Is this... What is this? Oh, it's a cow barn. I gotta keep the cow barn, huh? Shoot. Alright. Well, this is what happens if I didn't do everything and film it. Lost. I gotta figure out. I don't wanna get rid of nothing in here. I already, already got stuff going on. Uh, you know what? I can't put it in the cows because you can't get to it. But. I can do this, and I will do this, okay. whether you like it or not. There we go. You didn't see nothing. Don't look. Let's go ahead and dump this trailer off already. Come on, I started the engine. The tractor. Let's go see what I made on a trailer for. triggers and it's a gamble 50 almost 58,000 it's all right I usually throw them on distributing so they'll go to the productions I'm big on production so I don't do these farms too much and I do an automated system which is a kit conveyor belt and the multi-buying system and all I gotta do is come over here touch the button and it feeds them. Oh yeah, that's on one of my videos. Maybe I should have set one up this time so you could have seen it. I still can. If you want to see what it looks like? I might. Let's see if my back, how my back's feeling here. Maybe I'm done. Getting old. Pushing 60, you get kind of old. There we go. 
see I line these up, so all you had to do is go one to the other. Yeah. That's what you're supposed to do. Think smart, not hard. Don't overdo it. Keep it simple. Keep it simple is the best thing. That's why some of these maps are so they're not complicated. They're just not simple. There's nothing to it. They're all the same. You know, like this map. It's all the same. It's the same. You're going to plow a field. You're going to harvest a field. You're going to feed a chicken. You're going to feed a cow. It's all the same, but people throw in stuff or make weird exits and map, you know, roads or trees in the way. It's, it's like, uh, you know, you just, that's complicated. That's what's complicated. The map's simple. It's basic. It's got this, you know, it's got the same old things in it. That's why I like when they introduce the rice and the rye. Or you bring another mod up in here. But there's, you know, it's, it's all the same, just in a different place. I'm doing the same thing I'm going to do on another map. It's the same thing. I don't know why I jump around map to map. I should just jump on the no man's land and, and just call it a day. Because it seems like I usually clear everything out. And I put my own stuff down. So I probably should start with just a basic map of my own. And build it different every time. Do something different every time. I might. I might. Because when I do these, I do these other people's maps. You know, they got their uh, stuff going on. It's just like you scratch your head like, what were they doing? What were they thinking that? And I don't know. Sometimes there's no imagination. It's the same thing. I don't know how to do it. I give it to them. They don't know how to do my job either. I'm retired. They don't know how to do my job either. And so I'm not here to tell them how to do theirs. Not many people do my job. There are, you know, of course, thousands of people that I work with, but uh, considering that this is what you do, you should do it good. You should do the best. You should be the best. You should not be putting your name on anything and putting it out there if you're not the best. And if you don't do your job well, don't brag. You know? Some of these guys, I'm not sure. This may be a first timer's map, too. I can't remember where I heard the, the modder's uh, name. I thought he did one before. Or was that the other map? Maybe that was another map. I thought it was this one. Maybe this was his first map. And if not, it's a good map. I like it. That's why I like it. It's simple, but that's why I like it. If I want to, I already did. Also, uh, a couple of my other videos on Crockin Farms. I, uh, I, I varied it, of course, but I like that I could. That's the whole thing. I like that I could, and it was easy to make your own map. It gives me the freedom of doing what I want and use what you got. I don't know if they're trying to keep our uh, slot count down with the equipment at the start. Mm. Just keep it basic. I'll get rid of it. You know, we can sell it. But a two meter plow for these big hectare uh, fields, <laughs> it's a joke. But maybe you're, maybe the, maybe the mappers are doing it because, you know, to keep the slot count down. Little bee cultivators and such. I mean, you know, it's kind of, you know, it, it's, it's very laughable, but I do understand because I usually get rid of it anyway. It doesn't matter if you have the best cedar or whatever, unless it's the one I want, I get rid of it. So it's probably best that you just put down the the lowest count equipment you can. Maybe throw in a tractor. Maybe throw in the latest tractor instead of some of the ones that are getting on there. Maybe throw in one that's, you know, got a little bit of quirkiness to it. It's a little different. And now they've pretty much given the freedom that you can put capacity, you know, you know, there's no capacity or power on anything. Because, you know, they tried to stop TNT from doing it. And then the map went crazy from 19 to 22. Now people are overcapacitizing stuff and overpowering stuff. So they let him come back. Thank God he did. Great maps. That's the way they should be. And that's why you get to do what you do. It's freedom. 
It's freedom. I don't go on the ones that won't let you sell their houses or sheds or, you know, their livestock, any of the, anything. If you block me down from taking away from your farm, putting my own in or using your own, yeah, I don't go to your farm. I, I'm out. And that's the way a lot of people are getting is if you don't let them have the freedom to, freedom of choice, freedom to do a little roaming. They may use the rest of your map, but there may be one part of your map and, you know, you get your feelings hurt if it's your main farm. But they go there and they change it up, make it their own, like this. This is my own. The house, that house, it's not even, I don't even know if that was the house that was on the map, but it was right there. I had it over there at this field. I didn't like it right there. The sun was in my eyes. I don't know. But I put it to the other side. I know why I put it over here. It's because I made an exit out of here. And I said, hey, if I want to exit, I might want it to change the time up or change the time, you know, to suit me. And then I took out all that stuff. Only thing I kept on here was that original little hint, uh, the, the chicken patch over here. And these sheds, these sheds stayed. I kept these sheds. The rest of it, I pushed it all down. Because I had the freedom to. And it looks better this way anyhow. <laughs> anyway, well, you stuck around, you viewed it, we uh, we fed the chickens with the telehandler, I could have done it with my trailer and made a shorter video, but I gave you all the wisdom that I have today on Crocker Farm, Crocker, Crocking, let's get Crocking, Crocking Farm, I'm sure he's heard all kinds of stuff, Crocking Farm, got, got it in, I made my own storage silos they've made it to where you can dump inside there now and it's great it's wonderful we had a good time like and share subscribe if you can and as always have a good day bye